So now we will continue the second section, the second part of this work. So we've added, already added the parameters, the materials, and also uh, drawn our geometry. Now we move to this physics section. So we go to lamp battery. So in the lamp battery, we select uh, the domain that will select to be the active battery material. And we make some changes to the applied currents to so map our parameters. We define the applied current as A. Applied node from our variable instead. And so we define it as this. Then our battery cell capacity will be defined as this. Initial state of charge, the SOC initial, and it will be, it will be global. Okay, so perturbation amplitude will be 0.1. All right, so next is the cell potential. Potential, make some modifications in here. So, Clear table and add the reference temperature, which will be the load from file, which will be this. So, this is what you are using. Also, the temperature derivative of the OCB, we clear and we load from file. Okay, so we have. Sorry, thank you. Temperature derivative OCB is this instead. Okay, all right. So this is how it's supposed to be. Okay, then we go to the voltage losses. And the temperature here yeah, has to be okay. Yeah, from from this, then the ohmic over potential will be eta ohmic one c. Want to include activation over potential? Then we want this to be. Zero. We should include concentration over potential to this work where tau be t. This will be tau. And we have the fears, fears, and the particle discretization. 10 and 1. Okay. So this for our voltage losses. And we want to see if we can add some other functions.
No, we're not going to add a continuity. No, no, let's not add a continuity. Let's go to the heat transfer. Go to the heat transfer in solids. And for the heat transfer in solids, the thickness will be user defined. The temperature will be this. And look at the discretization, it will be real. Temperature will be T. Go to the solid. I want to see the section in the solid. Okay, so in the solid, we want to select. Okay, we've selected all these three, then we have the coordinates from material, also from material, then We add want to add an axis symmetry to this section. We add this and we'll call it, name it as an axis symmetry. This same axis symmetry will be for all boundaries. But before then, let's work on the thermal isolation. Let's add this symmetry, let's take it out and let's work on the thermal isolation to see this thermal isolation is going to be for all boundaries also. Okay, then we can add Axis symmetry. Want axis symmetry to be before the thermal isolation. Okay, so that's this will be our axis symmetry, axial symmetry. Um, It's going to be for all boundaries. And we want to put this one of these, the same will duplicate and we pull one 